y'all, this is Cyberigle, and welcome to another Minecraft Mod Showcase. Now, I, I, as I was looking for mods, I happened to be getting in Minecraft version 1.8 to check something out, and I noticed one that I, not only have I never done a video on, to my knowledge at least, but I've never seen where anybody else recently has either, so I decided to go for it. So we're going to be looking at the Zelda Skills mod for Minecraft 1.8. And it's really, really cool. Oh, wait. Sorry. I've got a ton of mods on here. Uh, now, there's one. It has a lot of items, enemies, weapons, etc. from the Legend of Zelda games. Now, there's also some uh, skill orbs for different attacks or from different skills with the sword. Unfortunately, I cannot get those to work right. So, we're going to be uh, skipping past them. But I will be including a link to the PDF file with a instructions and more information on them in addition to every other block here so we can uh or y'all uh, y'all can figure that out hopefully um and if nothing else the, to be honest the video would probably be a little long so i'm wearing the or wearing link's kokiri set and uh doesn't really have any uh, special buffs, but there's also, let's see, should be, yeah, the Zora set, complete with flippers. We're going to be looking at that in a minute. Also, the Goron set, which uh, gives you, looks like night vision and fire resistance, and then uh, things like some boots. And, by the way, y'all may see some references to... Or maybe just now saw some references to uh, dungeons. Um, after I show off the items, we're going to try at least. Here's the Zora set. We're going to try at least to. Uh, I really should have put this on. I got close to water. Anyway, we're going to try at least to uh, find one of the dungeons and take a look at it. Not going to make any promises though. And as y'all can see, I'm actually moving through the water pretty quick. Oh. Oh, it's kelp for the fancy fish mod. Oh, by the way, if y'all are wondering about the uh, fire over here, I'm not exactly sure what happened. Um, I was testing out a couple of, or testing out a spawn egg, and I saw uh, Goron attacking a, um, I'll put on the Pegasus boots with that. Anyway, I saw a Goron attacking I believe it was a um, a zombie, and next thing I knew, the building I had over here was on fire. So yeah. All right. So now we're going to be looking at the also the Pegasus boots, and as y'all can see, well I did just take some damage. These give you speed, and it looks like jump boost one, maybe. To be honest, I hadn't tried some of this stuff out. And let's see here. Let me make sure, go back into creative and make sure I didn't miss any uh, Goron boots, because it is strange. That... Okay, I guess I didn't. So in that case, uh... Actually, I think I have a very convenient way to check this out. Oh, just in case. And game rule, keep worry true. Just in case something goes wrong, this doesn't work like I... Ah, yep, there we go. I've got 100% fire resistance. Cool. And I didn't even have the residual fire effect. Alright, so here's the hover boots. I'm oh okay wait I'm not too sure hi oh wait I see yeah you hold control or um, left control and it lets you hover a little bit as you're walking off it looks like okay that's cool um, the rubber boots, we'll have to try if we have to get lucky and find the dungeon for them. 
All right, save some time and clear the inventory. Um, although then again, I think I will go ahead and grab the cookie reset again. We got a lot more stuff to look at. Oh, why did I do that? Anyway, we got a lot more stuff to look at, so there we are. All right. Um, you know, let me look at a few other items. Let's look at a few other items here, and we'll see if we can't kill two birds with one stone with some of the uh, um, sorry, the spawn eggs and the weapons. I lost my train of thought for a second. I figured might as well do this so I can get all the masks a little quicker. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna. It's kind of interesting. We got a variety of different masks we can use with different effects. This one doesn't seem to do anything noticeable right now. Ah, there we go. This one gives you invisibility. Let me take the rest of my gear off. There we go. And if I have a empty spot here, yeah. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, let's see what else we got. Let's see the. Okay, no special effects from that. Uh, check out the fierce deity mask. Okay, doesn't seem to be any buffs. Uh. Oh, with the Zora mask, you do get a uh, respiration. So let me uh, run back over here. And it looks like I'm going to have to give myself some food in a minute. But yeah, there we go. So that one's kind of cool. And let's see here. Sorry for this mod, I'm not doing anything exciting for it. Oh, shoot. Okay, definitely don't want Majora's Mask. And... Sorry, my phone was vibrating. I had to see what it was. Um, no uh, Minecraft buffs there. And you got the Goron mask. Let's see here. What else? Hawkeye. Um, wait a minute. Okay, for a second I thought maybe that one actually did have a little bit of an effect. Anyway, here's the Gibdo mask. Says the hideous face of Pamela's father. To be honest, I didn't play the, uh, or I didn't play Majora's Mask, so I've never actually tried these. This one is Keaton Mask, which is supposed to be a uh, Easter egg for Pikachu. Here's the Spooky Mask and the Skull Mask. Oh, and then there's also the Bunny Hood. Oh, good gosh. Oh shoot, you know, let me get myself some steak real quick and then we'll continue. All right. Oh, you do take fall damage though, so it would be good to be careful about how far up you jump. All right. What did, oh, normal, so that's why I'm re regening slow. Here's the giant's mask, which I'm not 100% sure what effect this has. Um, it's not any noticeable buffs, apparently. Um, Let me grab one of the mini spawn eggs I got here that uh, keys shouldn't be too bad. Whoa.
Okay, definitely doesn't give me any buffs on that, at least as of the version I've got. Alright, so now we're also going to get to the various treasures. Let me uh, clear inventory again and then turn around and get back a couple of my um, stake and armor. This is the quickest way to make room for the next chest worth of stuff. Yet, um, as soon as I saw this, I thought, wait, I could have sworn I did that, but I remember it was a little bit complicated or something. I had trouble. And um, this is actually the updated version from what I originally was going to make a mod showcase on a while back. Alright, let's see. You know what? I think we can probably pick up all this. Maybe. We'll see. Ah, okay. Yep, looks like we can. Alright, so, by the way, the reason that fire hasn't moved, I turned fire tick off so that I wouldn't have to mess with it, but where it wouldn't uh, set my chest on fire. I already accidentally blew them up. I'll get to that in a minute. Alright, first, we got the Oak Arena. And I should have known ahead of time how to fix that. Uh, play it. To be totally honest, the reason I didn't really do any additional uh, studying on this is just because um, y'all seem to prefer my somewhat shorter videos. And so I decided to just go through what I could. And... If y'all do want me to do go more in depth on some things like the sword skills after I learn it, let me know in the comments. I'll see what I can do. But anyway, uh, here's the pendants of power. I want to say from uh, of power, courage, and wisdom, or pendants of virtue. Excuse me. Um, I want to say from I, is it from link to the past? It's been a while since I played. Um, Anyway, let's see. You've also got the Broken Goron Sower. These are the treasures, by the way. And you can actually find the blacksmith to repair it. And here's the eye drops you have to trade the big Goron, who is the blacksmith. Here's the mushroom you need to get to the shop so you can uh, get the eye drops made. And the claim check you have to get and trade in for your sword. Uh, let's see what else. The pres his prescription for eye drops as well. And uh, you got the monster claw, uh, pocket egg, uh, different kinds of chew, ch of chew jelly. Uh, let's see. By the way, the reason I'm not going through crafting recipes, unfortunately, I don't have uh, either just enough items or not enough items on here. So that causes a little trouble. There's a Master Ore, Eyeball Frog, Poacher Saw, which, let's see, I bet you this does a decent amount of damage. Hmm. I'm going to regret this, I already know. Oh! Okay. Well. We know it does a little bit of damage at least, but uh, now I think it would be best for me to get back up here quickly. Uh, let's see, a dismembered tentacle from Octorock, which by the way are in here. And let's see, evil crystal. Oh, I gotta show y'all this. And this is actually what ended up burning down over here. Uh, I'll say mistakes were made. Okay, this item, and um, uh, if you load your game with this mod, you will be able to start with it. Let me uh, step over here. If you right click the ground, oh, preferably over a clear area, in, in a clear area. 
Let's see here. Actually, I guess that is the would be the easiest one around here to clear. All right. What debris? There we go. It's Link's house. In it, you got a chest with a Kokiri sword and a small key used to unlock special ch or unlock chests. So thankful I'm in creative right this minute. All right, now for the fun stuff. Clear inventory again. And I did notice I never did grab the bombs. So I'm going to show these off right now. You got the bomb, the water bomb, fire bomb, the bomb flower, and then a bomb bag for these. Oops. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention you kind of have to throw them quickly. Um, there we go. At least I was able to pick up the spawn eggs. I, we may be going through them a little bit quicker than I planned originally. And then you got the fire bomb. And by the way, word of warning, they will get ready to uh, explode as soon as you have it in your inventory. So you should, as soon as you, or I mean, as soon as you have it in your hand. So you should really move fast. All right, uh, let's go ahead and turn it today. Oh, right. And look at some of the more uh, relatively harmless mobs and some of the non-harmless ones. The Chews, you got Dark Nuts. Oh, shoot. That was not planned. Uh, you got whiz robes, which I remember how really annoying those suckers were in uh, Link to the Past. You got ice keys. You got a uh, fire. All right. Let's go ahead and first spawn some more of these in. And then we'll look at a few things like... Uh, how that get there? Oh yeah, and there's also the masks, the happy mask salesman. Let me test something real quickly. Oh, that's right. You also have to, yeah. There we go. If you bug him a little bit, right click him, he'll lend you a mask. And let's see here. Okay. Ah, here we go. Lost track of where I was for a minute. All right. Uh. Oh boy. Okay. You know what? Let me. Uh. I'm gonna. Actually, you know what? Let me get over here and save myself a little trouble. Get rid of some of the ones I spawned in. We'll spawn them in again in a minute to test the weapons out. I think I showed the ice whiz robe, didn't I? Alright. Let's see here. Okay. There's the yellow chew. Now that I think that I did show those off. There's keys like you saw earlier. There's Barnes. I have haven't played enough of the different Zelda games to know who the heck he is. Alright. So, let's see here. That should be all of these. This is actually a massive mod. I'm going to have to mess around with it a lot more. Alright. Okay. Here's a Goron, who if you notice, might... Okay, never mind. It doesn't attack them automatically. Anyway, here's a dark crease. Or keys, I mean. Octa rock, which I should have spawned in over here in the water. There we go. 
Got fire whiz robe. Orca. Oh, that's a person. Oops. The thunder whiz robe. Red chew. Green chew, which basically is slightly reskins slightly reskin slime. Nothing wrong with that, by the way. I'm just saying, but it is. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh yeah, time first for the weapons. Then I'll see if I can show off at least a few of the blocks. This is still going to be about a 30 minute video. Sorry, y'all. All right, so we got the Kokiri Sword, Heavy Broadsword, Ordon Sword, Master Sword, Tempered Sword, Bigoron Sword, as well as a Hammer, a Megaton Hammer. The other one I know for sure it was in Link to the Past, I think, in some of the late in. Um, I'm pretty sure it was also in um, Ocarina of Time. Not positive. The Hero's Bow at level one. Then you got Ice Fire Water Bomb. Light bomb and fire bomb arrows. All right, so let's start having a little fun here. First, let me show the shields here. You can and and oops. Unfortunately, the controls for some of the fancier stuff with weapons aren't really responding correctly for me. But here's the big Goron sword. Yeah, here's all the swords here. And let me grab some armor one more time. And let's try this out, shall we? Or these out. All right, move that out of the way so I can get my stuff I need. All right. There we are. All right, now I'll move these back here along with that. All right, now I am going to go down here. As y'all saw a minute ago, I already set my spawn point. Oops, might need that. Oh shoot. Oh boy. Okay, that was a very bad idea. So yeah, the boss is in here as y'all can see are really, really tough. Forgot about you. It would be in your best interest to uh, learn about those sword skills. Like I said, unfortunately, I'm not able to show them off because I can't, I never could get them to work right. I know I should have worked on that for this video, but once again, even without it, it's going to be uh, somewhere between 25 and 30 minutes anyway. So, all right. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at the boomerang. Now, this is really cool. You got the regular boomerang and the magic boomerang that has a uh, twice the range and I want to say about twice the damage too. So let's say I want to do a little damage. I can. Now let's try the arrows. I just noticed I'm not positive how to oh yep that would be a bomb arrow a water bomb arrow apparently nope just a bomb arrow let's see here hang on just a second okay got it had to double check it's cause my bow was still level one um I'm not uh, positive on I couldn't find how to upgrade it by the way here's some of the other uh, 
things here while I'm at it that you can also use or you'll find some blocks you'll see like the royal family block there's invisible chest a lock chest hook shot targets can actually set one of those up so we can take a look at the hook shot uh, right there I guess um, although I didn't see it actually all right and of course we got some slingshots that you can get, which what you'll do with these is shoot different seeds like for example we'll use bomb flower seeds and you pretty much shoot it like a bow the fairies yeah the scatter shots you can see shoots three super slingshot shoots five so it would definitely be very effective as crowd control all right now let's look at the hammers whoa oh yeah if y'all notice there's also some unique sounds here and I just one shot that chew all right whoa Whew. that was close all right now that's better that joker was getting really annoying and I didn't want a peaceful it just yet all right oh it does remind me though let me grab a y'all gotta see this let me see if I can grab what okay I'm gonna turn it to night for a second and so basically the Goron fights similar to a uh, golem and is reasonably effective especially when he's got a buddy alright so I'm gonna clear my inventory one more time and we are gonna go ahead and I believe the last thing I yeah sell the blocks you do have a few other things like uh, warp stones to teach different songs for the oak arena. You got a giant lever, the gossip stones. Which, hang on, I actually saw one that spawned somewhere. Not oof. Oh, there it is. Basically, you right click these to give them talk, which this one says the stone is silent. You've also got the sacred flames for the fairies, which does remind me I didn't, I never did spawn a fairy in. I don't think there is actually one for that. Hang on y'all can tell I want to try at least to cover everything hmm oh let me see if it needs to be night for them yep it does and I'm betting well for one thing you got the fairy in a bottle here like in the regular games and I'm oh shoot okay I'm trying to see if I could just right click on it with the bottle yep if you can actually get close enough you can right click on it and get a fairy in a bottle now let me see if I can get a little ways away at least from all the stuff that would really love to kill me Game mode. 
Yes. Oh, I've got full health anyway. Alright, well anyway, it does say these do uh, give you full health. And... Let me double check because I... Oh yeah, here's the hook shot. We'll check out the basic uh, long shot. You do... If you look, if you right click and hold it, you can see it extending out. Let's go back over here where I've actually first let's take a list. You can see you can do some damage. And let's see here. Thought I put a hook shot target around here already. Oh yeah, there it is. So that means you can hold it right click hold down and you'll repel up to the target so that's extremely cool then you got a variety of other things including for example let's try the oh right you gotta work on that um, let's see here oh yeah, and here's a uh, Nehru's love which I th think I know what this is gonna do it it like it gives you invincibility just till your hunger bar drains and I prefer not to be insta killed so I'm not gonna let that happen you've also got the various potions here it's like I said this is actually a huge mod I'm surprised um, all I can think of is it must be a bit older and so people just kinda moved on and forgot about it Yep, that one replenished my hunger. The red, uh, actually, I know replenishes health. All right. And I forgot. Yeah. Oh, bl no. Blue replenishes hunger and heals twenty hearts. Yellow grants resistant shock damage. Red heals ten. All right. So, oh yeah, I forgot about the rods too. It's like I said, this, this is a ridiculously massive mod. Alright. As you can see also, the golden gauntlets that you hang on to uh, blocks and move them. Oh, I couldn't resist seeing if it would let me do that. Alright. The long whip. Let's see here. Any more hostiles? Yeah, I figured there would be something around here. You can just click to crack the whip. Uh, you can also do a, make it go out a lot further by holding down right click. The fire rod with these they do uh, fire damage to anything they touch. The ice rod will do, oops, I actually didn't mean to do that. The ice rod will do cold damage. Then you got the tornado rod. Which what this does is, all right. Watch when I sneak. It'll prepare. It'll create a tornado pr to propel you up in the air a bit. All right. Uh, did you do? What's left? Um. Let's check out the claw shot. Oh yeah, it does work. Just on stone though. By the way, ignore these towers. That's part of another mod. A couple other things you do have are um, 
any special attacks. And let me see here. Thought that whiz robe was still over here. All right. Oh wait. By the way, these are limited attacks, of course. So you do have to be careful, but. Um, let's see what else is left. Oh yeah, there's the rocks feather. And if you hold it, it'll uh, give you jump boost and feather falling. And let you kind of glide. Basically, pretty much everything from Zelda is in here. Uh, oh yeah, that's the mask salesman. I was trying to think, what the heck? And I'm assuming at least the dungeons are around here somewhere because there are references to desert temples and stuff. Um, otherwise, uh, I think I've, uh, covered everything oh wait I forgot it just now soaked in let me grab a uh, ocarina can't believe I missed this all right uh, grab the ocarina of time for good measure ocarina of time however you want to pronounce it all right Okay. All right. Uh oh. Anyway, you do use the arrow keys, and I'm not sure uh, exactly what else. It, it, it's extremely complicated. It, it, this is actually on par with the Doctor Who, Who mod. That I use that I looked at a while back. Um, you can work with it. It just did uh can take a while. By the way, you can also press P to view the sword skills you got, and it will give you a description if you hover over different ones. Unfortunately, like I said, I didn't couldn't get those working right. But anyway, um, I guess that's all I can. I'm gonna be covering. In this video is pretty much everything except for uh, going in depth a bit on things like sword skills and looking for those dungeons see if they're there um, if y'all do want me to try again on that let me know in the comments otherwise thank y'all so much for watching if you're new here don't forget to sub the channel and uh, I'd really appreciate it thanks again for watching have a great day